You're watching Yana TV. Hi, this is Yana, and you're watching Yana TV. And today I have an incredible guest, Alexi Panos, with us. And Alexi is a humanitarian and author and transformational thought leader. So, Alexi, yes. thank you so much for joining oh, us. My pleasure. I love being here. Thank you. And I just listened to you on stage. You were absolutely fantastic. Thank you. And my biggest realization was you have a really powerful message. So, thank I you. heard the message, but people over there haven't. Yeah. So, please share with us. Sure. Well, I do so much in my line of work. Mm -hmm. um, I work with people all over the world. And my message is the same throughout, whether I'm doing workshops or books or videos or even my nonprofit work in Africa. And it's all about empowering and inspiring people to step into the truth of who they truly are. And, you know, a lot of this motivation work and inspiration is like, here's who you have to become. And I believe that you just have to be you. And I believe that's the most powerful thing that anybody can be because there's nobody, there's nobody like you in the world. You are one of seven billion people on this planet with your story, your past, your pain, your happiness, your joy, your perspective. And the world needs what you have to say, right? And so many of us are trying to be somebody else because yeah. we think that's what we're supposed to do, we're trying to fit in. But there's nothing extraordinary about fitting in, but there is something extraordinary about being you because there's only one. So my message is that, and when I work with people in mm. Africa, I support them with clean water, but I also support them in stepping into their empowerment because they already know what they need to do. They just need a little support, and that's what I'm there for. I'm not there to help. I'm just there to support them in seeing who they truly are. I think that's actually a great way of looking at it mm -hmm. because there are many people who are doing any sort of empowerment work, yeah. but what you said, it is often about this is right where I am and I'm going to go there and help those poor people yeah. to become like I am oh, yes. because I think this is what they need, yeah. <laughs> right? Versus what they said, you know, I have a very dear friend who did also a lot of work in all emerging markets in developing countries yeah. for many years. And I remember that she said, when you go to a foreign culture, especially culture where you want to help, yeah. it is more important to understand, to, it's more important to understand than to be understood oh that's right? so it's so all it. about them yeah it's listening to what they want and then you just help them to grow and to nurture this and maybe their agenda is not what you believe in totally. it could also be something that they want could be completely opposite with your own values your yeah. own upbringing yeah and maybe even in your own value system Absolutely. you think it's wrong Absolutely. but for them it is right totally. so right so it's amazing that, that you kind of learn to accept it so and i know yeah. that based on, on your message you started this work that you call epic movement yeah right? so epic stands for everyday people initiating change oh that's beautiful yeah i love it so I, even in my in my transformational work that i do in workshops where people are taking their lives on it's all about being epic can you be an everyday person initiating change in your own life and be epic, be unapologetic about it, and just be so you and shine so bright that you give others the permission to do the same. Yeah. You know? And I know that you're like, I can see you're clearly super passionate about your yes. work. And <laughs> you, you, you are like a spoke woman, you know, for this particular cause. Mm -hmm. and, and you really want to inspire other people to stand in their power. And at the same time, I must ask you that I know it is not easy. Yeah. Okay? It's not... The, the, if you want to be a leader and you want to stand tall in the heat. That's it. So yes. how do you deal with that? Yeah, I think it was harder for me when I first started because I was so self-aware and, you know, self-obsessed in a way. And that's a big word, but in such a small way where I would put myself out there. I'd put out a video and... 99 people would love it. One person would hate it and write a comment. And I'm like focused on the one person. Like, why does this person not like me? And then I got down the road, the more that I want to shine and step into who I am and own my message, some people aren't going to resonate with that. Yeah. And that's okay. Because it's not about me. It's about the message. And if I make it about me, of course it's going to hurt. But if I make it about the message, it doesn't matter if somebody, you know, hits me on my shoulder, writes a negative thing, has something negative to say. It doesn't matter. It's not about me. It's about my message. And if my message, if it gets across to one person and reaches one person that it needs to reach, I've done my job. Mm. And 
that shift for me changed everything because I think before then I was living this this false idea of leadership. Like yeah, tell leadership me more about it. Yeah. yeah, it's 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 glamorous, right? You get to be in the front, you get to have power, you get to have influence. It's glamorous. But I wasn't ready and willing to accept the other part of leadership, which, which is people aren't going to like you. You've got to be out on the forefront, in the middle, taking blows if people don't like you. If you look at anybody who's in a position of power and takes a position, there's immediately opposition. Yep. Yeah. But that's the only way that the world changes. So I had to say, okay, what am I committed to? My ego? Or am I committed to my message? And I was way more committed to my message. So I had to put myself out there again and again and again and keep pushing past it. And now it's so funny. The minute I stepped into that, everything opened up. It was like the universe was like, okay, now you're ready. Oh, of course. Now you're ready. <laughs> well, the universe is is really a beautiful creature oh, yeah. itself. You know, it's all yeah. It's, <laughs> I love her too. You know, yeah. it's always amazing to me when, like, person like you, you know, when you say that, okay, this is my message. I'm gonna stand tall. I'm yeah. gonna do this. And then it's what you just shared on stage. The universe goes, really? Yeah. You know? Oh, oh that's cute. Yeah, you that's very sweet. Yeah. Let me see how serious you are about it, that's right? It. And then you keep throwing the, another like 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 barrier and object totally. and, and criticism. And and it all depends how you deal with that. And that's then you it. reached this stage where you are today. Yeah. And you know, yet at the same time, I know that there are many other people who are still looking for the message. Yeah. You know, there are many people who keep asking themselves, so what is my calling? Yeah. You know, what is my message? Yeah. Like, I have, like, I have a job, maybe I have a family, you know, I, I'm in a decent position. Yeah. And I know that I have this feeling inside of me yeah. that I want to do something, I want to change something in the world. I'm not sure what. Mm. So what could you tell them? Yeah. What would be the way for them maybe to become more clear on what their message is? Yeah, so I think a lot of people are looking for the extraordinary message. They're mm -hmm. looking for the big, game-changing message that's going to throw ripples across the world. And they're missing the ordinary. Mm -hmm. And there's a gift and a beauty in the ordinary. Smiling at somebody mm -hmm. who passes you by on the street. Connecting with someone. Truly being present with them. The ordinary things that feel so mundane that we just walk right over are where it starts. Because if you can't do it here and smile at your neighbor or smile at the stranger on the, on the street or ask somebody and truly mean, how are you doing? If you can't do that, you can't do this. So we got to start small first. And when we start small, it builds momentum. And then all of a sudden, again, the universe goes, oh, she's ready. Oh, they're ready. Okay, they're ready. They're ready to be present. Okay, yeah, I'll give her more. Let's see if she can handle more. Okay, more. And then it just keeps expanding. But we start here first. Mm. What was maybe one fundamental mindset shift mm. that you had to facilitate or maybe life orchestrated for you to see it mm. that you had to do inside of yourself yeah. to actually become who you are today? The biggest one is, is having the courage to stand as who I am. Mm. And it's so big. It's so small, you know, it's such a small yeah. thing, but it's so big because I think for most of my life, I was hiding from who I truly was. I, I didn't know if I'd be accepted. I had fear that I'd be judged or maybe I wasn't good enough or maybe I'm not worthy of this. All those fears kept coming up. And when I faced off with those fears and said, well, what if I, what if I am worthy of it? What if I can do this? What if, I, what if I was made for this? And I just stood in the truth of that okay, I still feel that, but I can overcome that. I can face mm. off with that. It's part of the human experience, doubt. Sometimes doubt is there for good reason, but we also can use that doubt to propel us forward. But I had to be willing to stand there in both of it, the doubt and the confidence, and say, here's who I am. Yes, sometimes I doubt myself. I still do. But I also know that I'm capable of so much, infinite possibilities. Infinite love. That's why I have it tattooed. Oh my, on my God! Arm. Infinite love. <laughs> that's so beautiful. Because I believe that that's what we all are: is infinite love. And when I look at that, I remind myself: those small doubts and fears are so small. I'm infinite. I'm love. How can anything mess with that? And that little mind shift has changed everything for me. 
Thank you, mm-hmm. Alexi. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and that was Alexi on Yana TV today with that sharing her incredible message and I must say wisdom. Aww. So please do connect with us, share this video, stay in touch, and we are going to be with you next week with another incredible guest. Success happens on a daily basis. You know, Aristotle, what's the Aristotle quote? Uh, We are what we repeatedly do. Mm -hmm. Excellence, therefore, is not an act, but a habit. So for me, it became about how do I switch my habits? How do I I, I create a world within myself where my habits are lined up with my thoughts and my words? And that, that was not easy. Mm -hmm. But as they start to build on themselves, you know, what we appreciate appreciates. So the biggest thing for anybody who are who are looking to change their lives is start looking for the ways in which you are already doing beautiful work.